Hello and welcome to another Cactus Hill Adventure. Today we're going to be going on the Wolverine Loop. As you can see from the map, it's off the Bird Trail Road. Here we are entering the uh, western entrance of the Wolverine Loop. Uh, this loop continues around and uh, comes out on the eastern side about 26 miles uh, altogether. Uh, this trip today will be uh, part one of, part, of two parts and it'll be about six, seven miles of the road. Uh, this part of the road I'm showing is kind of keeping it down to normal speed. I'll be speeding up the video and showing you the entire road. That's, if you've watched my other videos, that's my philosophy is to try to show you as much of the road as I can. On this road, there's what I am calling a washlets. It's these little washes right here, and they can be uh, nothing critical or crazy, but uh, they can ruin your day if you're traveling a little too fast and hit one of them. And uh, I'm kind of a conservative driver when I go off road, so uh, you'll see me slow down for a few of these. But uh, now we're getting into uh, speeding up the video to show you all the road, and you'll see these washlets as we go through. The, the, the road is basically a good road. I mean, it's uh, not too difficult. Uh, I would take a four-wheel drive vehicle, a little clearance, but uh, I think a two-wheel drive vehicle can get there and do fine. Uh, there isn't any really difficult spots. There's a couple of washes we go through, uh, actually several, but uh, none of them had any water. Uh, good road, basically. The scenery's nice. Uh, if you watched my last uh, couple of videos, uh, one on uh, Upper Muley Twist and the Poison Springs Canyon one, uh, the scenery in those is both pretty remarkable. I'd give it a, those two a 9 and a 10, or I'd give uh, Wolverine Loop probably a 6 or maybe a 7 in some spots. Uh, the scenery is kind of more vistas in this one, in the first part of it, you can tell. As we get into uh, where we get to Cottonwood Wash, and if you watch the opening video and notice that I had Cottonwood Wash on the map, that's what we named it. It's not officially named that, but uh, after you leave Cottonwood Wash, that's where part two starts. And you get more uh, more canyons and a little more scenery. But there's still a beautiful drive, well worth the effort to take the day to do it. Uh, there's some hiking trails along here if you're into hiking. Uh, so there's a lot to do and see along this road. So. I'll just let it play for a little bit and uh, comment as we go through. And here's one of the, the washes. I believe they're, it's called Horse Canyon Wash. It, it uh, basically kind of S-curves back and forth on this wash. And you'll see it coming up here in a little bit where we, we cross it. Again, there's no water in it. But uh, if there was, it'd probably be pretty interesting trying to get across it. Anyway, uh, enjoy the video and I'll comment uh, as we go through. Here's a nice little valley that we're into right now. Some cliffs on the, the right and some geological formations coming up straight ahead. Notice I've slowed down a few times during this uh, first initial part of the video to show you some of the more interesting spots uh, that are on the road but again it's nothing real difficult nothing real technical so uh, you know so enjoy the ride but be careful when you're driving make sure you don't hit any of those washlets
this is where we're crossing the uh, Horse Canyon Wash. Uh, we've crossed it a few times already, but this is the widest part that I experienced when we went through here. Basically the same wash, Horse Canyon, it kind of, like I said, it kind of S's back and forth and the Wolverine Loop goes through it several times. Here I wasn't too sure about the line, uh, so I kind of stopped and backed up and went over a little bit more to the right. Uh, again, I'm a pretty cautious driver when I'm off-road. I hate to break anything. Even though we're not that remote here, it still would be a bummer to to break something so I'm a little over cautious but that's fine We're, we've done good so far and we always take a uh, Garmin Explorer Plus with us uh, so we have the communications through satellite send text messages SOS etc etc if something bad happens so we're not quite alone out there but uh, uh, we try to take those precautions and as we can. We take a lot of gear with us uh, in case we get stuck overnight. We've been stuck one time overnight and we had all the food and blankets and sleeping bags to sleep in the vehicle overnight and we were fine. Again, this road is just a little bit enough of a challenge to keep you paying attention. So, but enjoy the ride. It is a nice ride. We're coming up on uh, what we called uh, Cottonwood Wash. It'll be coming up here in a couple of minutes. And this was probably the most challenging part of the wash along the whole route. So, uh, we'll, you'll get to see a Cactus Hill replay of us crossing that. Again, nothing too difficult or technical. You see coming up on the left are a cottonwood tree and you'll see some straight ahead. And uh, this is in the fall of 2022. And the leaves were just starting to turn. And if you watched our other two videos recently, the Poison Springs and the upper muley twist you were seeing uh, some of the leaves turning on those especially in the poison springs canyon video if you're a fan of the changing colors i recommend you watch those that video the poison springs one there was a lot of a lot of color in that canyon this area is one of our favorite places to stop or is our favorite place to stop along this wolverine loop uh, we stop and we have lunch, you know, hang around, walk around, just kind of uh, hang out for a while. Straight ahead you'll see uh, there's the entrance to Horse Canyon. Uh, we drove back there a couple years ago, but I understand that you're not supposed to take a motorized vehicle back there, but there's a nice road. It goes back a little ways. Uh, we haven't been on it since. That was back in 2020. So uh, I haven't seen a sign that says you can't, but I've heard there's been one posted that you're not supposed to take motorized vehicles. So check before you go or make sure you know, you know what's, uh, what's a, you can do and what you can't do. Anyway, here's a good picture of Cottonwood Wash. You can see the colors are changing. There's a nice little shady spot that we're going to pull into. And then I'm going to get the drone out and fly for a few minutes and you'll get to see that.
If you're wondering right now if we saw any other uh, people out and about, uh, at the end of the video portion of this, I show some still pictures, and uh, there was one uh, white truck that came by out of Horse Canyon and went back towards where we came that looked like they were overlanders. And then we had a uh, few vehicles on part two that we encountered, but other than that, there wasn't a whole lot of people out there, and it was, like I said, fall of 2022. So temperature was nice, probably 70s, 80s. Uh, it was a nice day, beautiful day. So had a great trip. There's yours truly trying to fly this drone. Here's some of the pictures of the cottonwood wash. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, we just like to, like I say, sit there and enjoy the tranquility and the beauty of the area. There's the white truck. There he is heading back towards the Burr Trail Road. And of course, there's our Jeep. Looks like it might be a nice place to camp. But anyway, you know, you won't know if you don't go. Thanks for watching and I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.